My feet hesitate to where I should plant myself. Constantly craving an actual pull, I found myself standing in communal concrete. Embraced by spices, weaponized to dowels, the lost roads and dead ends, I saw them produce many miracles. Turning grey into red with lines of makeshift inventories, draped with traditional fabrics, hoping the colours will make up for the loss of sun. Booths lined with homegrown delicacies. Pirated DVDs in plastic wallets that sing the anthems of a childhood still stuck in another country's reverie. Market deals megaphoned over week's release of gossip. See, everyone here knows each other's sisters, neighbours, friends. The elder that still contain holistic medicine because unspoken illnesses were all too common and who the pocket full of children belonged to. Seen sidestepping the cracks in the pavement to try and preserve our mother's backs with their market bags filled with fruits on the side of their buggies. Youths who are figuring out the tactics to survive, gazing up at pyramids made from rolled carpets. Corners of the streets plastered with SIM card posters, painted with the deepest blue, enough to bring forth the waves of the continent's elders once stood firm in, lost in the ecstasy of nostalgia, only for the sweet charge of 5p per minute, only for the sweet charge of forging new skeletons to bring the onslaught of poison ivies, of both working too hard and working too little, that claiming the principles of life was merely just thievery. Look at the history of this city. The churning of bodies has been routine here. This city is our everything and nothing at the same time. Here lie the culture makers. A culture birthed, a culture policed, a culture reinvented. This city has its own warped cycle of life. Rigged with potholes, a city that bears the fruits of the rotten empire but feed none to its people, where children become experts of trickle down economics as they watch wealth dance out of their centres and into offshore accounts, gawping at how the shards of glass reflect the homeless and how the homeless reflect us as a people as we stutter with our rude sorries and screwed faces where apartments are built tall to be condescending, to remind us that the sky is not the limit, it is the absence of rent caps that are. They say that we are melting pots of ills and new screws, so we give them melting pots of every type of fried rice to melt them out shut, cause when did they ever understand us? Open their mouths and cobwebbed our houses with cranes, while chewing on cereal that cost us our rent, writing enough analysis to trick us into thinking that we that this was nothing more but a void riddled with strife until they came in, displaced our essence with overpriced coffee, piercing lethal injections into our skylines, trying to sever the natural links that formed beneath us, danced with the caricature of our land, once again we saw the construction of destruction. So we try our best to disrupt them. With enough knockdown gingers and water fights, etching our tags into this private property, using our tongues to sacrifice any toilet signs put onto us, examining any new face from head to toe, and strengthening our backs in the presence of their discomfort. I look down and find my feet standing guard in our communal concrete.